everybody, Pastor Stan again on the Pastor Stan YouTube channel. I'm going to do some more teaching from the Bible today. Today we're going to look at how to stop repeating the same sin over and over again. One of our most popular videos on the channel has been, Will God forgive me if I keep repeating the same sin over and over again? Today we're going to look at how to stop doing the same sin over and over again. If uh, this has been a blessing to you, if this has been helpful to learn how to live the best life possible, then like and subscribe. We'll get the word out and help a bunch of other folks too. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to look at how to stop repeating the same sin over and over again. And we're all living there, aren't we? We've all got that thing. Well, the scripture today I want to start with is the Apostle Paul. He struggled mightily with the same things that we struggle with today. And uh, here's what he says. Now, chapter 12, his letter to the Roman church. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. And that's the scripture because one of the challenges of our lives now here is living in this body which sins. And you may find yourself in the position where I live in continual guilt and self, you know, condemnation because I can't stop sinning. I keep doing this thing over and over and I don't know how many times I've prayed, oh God, please take it from me, but I keep doing it anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's I've experienced that and the apostle Paul did as well. So here's the, the Apostle Paul explaining to me and to you how to stop repeating the same sin over and over and over again and to have victory in this life. And one of those things Paul's saying is have a big picture view. Don't just focus on the, that, that sin that keeps me defeated, but look at the big picture. And when I look at my relationship with God, he says, give your entire body to God. Give your entire self, your entire body which also means give my sin to God too. Give my sin to God too. Yes, I know. It's like, what? You must be kidding. No, I'm talking about naming it. I'm talking about being honest about it before God. Whatever your sin is that you keep repeating over and over and over and over and over again, tell God about it in your prayer time. Oh, Pastor Stan, I could never talk about that. You know, that's so private, so secret and everything. Well, I got a I got a, a news flash for you. God sees it all, right? It's like, you know, we're not hiding from God. Oh, God didn't see that. God knows everything and he knows about it. And God is ready and willing to help you have the victory over it. He does. And so one of those things is the apostle Paul says is basically give your sin to God. Name it before God. Say God Here's the thing, right? I wish I could stop doing it. I can't stop doing it. Please help me. Please help me. Name the sin. Name it. You'd be surprised at how much of a difference just doing that will make in your life. I know it has made a life, you know, a difference in my life. Because here's the thing. We live with sin. We live in a body that has sin dwelling in it. You, you can't just stop sinning. You can't because of the body we live in. God has forgiven us. God's had mercy, but we keep sinning. Here's another thing the Apostle Paul wrote on that area. Romans chapter 7, let's look at it. Verse 18, Romans 7, 18. You can look this up later. And Paul says, And I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful flesh, this body. Nothing really good lives in there. He says, I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. But if I do what I don't want to do, I'm not really the one doing it, he says. It is sin living in me. And here's the thing. If I recognize what I'm doing is wrong, then I, then I know that God's Spirit's living within me. Because when I was out in the world before I knew Jesus as Savior, I did all kinds of things that were wrong. Didn't bother me a bit, right? It was, you know, I didn't feel bad about it. That's what we do. We're, you know, we, we just did stuff that was wrong. But now after I know Jesus... All of a sudden, I realized, well, that's wrong. And why do I want to do it? You know, it's, I know it's wrong, but I want to do it anyway. And then when I do it, I feel terrible because I feel like I've, I've sinned. 
Well, in order to stop repeating the same sin over and over going over again and, and to live the best life possible, there must be a way, and there is a way. Helping myself by talking to God about it plainly, being honest, bringing it before God, and giving it to Him. I've given my entire body, as Paul says, I'm going to give Him my sin too. I'm going to name it, I'm going to be honest about it. And here's the other thing that I've discovered. For me, here's how I have victory. It's not because I'm awesome. It's not because I just pray a lot or I'm following some formula. It's not about that. It's about walking together with the Lord, walking with him. I give myself to him, everything. I give my sin to him, and then I walk together with the Lord. Because the scripture says, when I move towards God, guess what God does? Moves towards me. And if I keep doing this, this is what it looks like. And the closer I get to God, the less I sin. That's true. The, the, the closer I get to God, the less I sin. And, and if I'm doing these things on a continuing basis every day, does that mean that I'll never be tempted? Of course not. We'll always be tempted in some way. But we can have the victory. And I can stop repeating that same sin over and over and over again. And wouldn't that be a great victory? Yes, it would. And that's how we live the best life possible. Thanks again for being together with us on the Pastor Stan YouTube channel. If this has been a blessing to you, and if you're learning how to live the best life possible, then like and subscribe. Tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your mom. Let's all get the word out together. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.